Hey, it's Jackie, and welcome back for another talk through makeup tutorial. This time, this very fun, classic glam for the holidays. I've been wanting to recreate this picture of Lily Collins for so many years, and I thought it was just the perfect look for the holidays. So I hope you guys like it. I have tons of tips and tricks in here for long wear makeup. And also I wanted to start with skincare. I'm so excited to be working with Hero Hero Wonder because I have fallen in love with Korean skincare over the past two years. And this is a phenomenal range. The Black Rice line is vegan, cruelty-free, and everything that I'll be talking about will be linked down below, as well as all the makeup products used. These are gentle on the skin to treat it over time, rather than using like a harsh exfoliant, which sometimes can give you fast results, but is damaging to the skin. So I've been using this. I've been recovering from a breakout, which you might be able to see in this video. There's a bit of texture right here, but these have been really soothing and I've loved using them. First up, we have the Hero Hero Wonder Black Rice AHA Gentle Cleansing Gel. All of these products are unscented, which is great for sensitive skin. This feels very luxurious. It's a gel, but it lathers and it feels really buttery. Follow up with the Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. Super refreshing. It's a bit thicker than a typical toner, so you can use it on your fingertips without a cotton pad. The highly concentrated essence type toner makes the skin texture flexible and optimizes moisturizer. Hydration is great for healing blemishes. And this is the second version of the product. The original had essential oils. I have tried it, I quite liked it, but this version has no fragrance at all. It's alcohol free and all the products are made with fermented black rice extract, super high in antioxidants. Black rice 10 hyaluronic cream is highly moisturizing, but still lightweight. And from here, sunscreen, of course. I'm not gonna use a ton because I am gonna go out when it's nighttime. The sun literally goes down at four, but I still wanted to demo and this is non-greasy. Even the sunscreen is rich with skincare ingredients and it's enhanced with heart leaf extract. I'm being super gentle over this area here. You can barely see it, but there was like five pimples that have kind of healed, but I just wanna add some extra moisture. If you're interested in any of these products, I will have them linked down below. And at the end, I'm gonna remove my makeup. It's the Hero Hero Wonder Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil. Again, unscented and is very helpful with taking off a glam. I could just jump in with foundation, but I'm gonna use my favorite KVD Lock It Pore Refining Primer. This helps mattify. I have a new camera, by the way, so I'm really hoping the autofocus is good. And keeping with KVD Beauty, I'm gonna try this foundation. I've never tried it before. Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation in Light 008. I am very pale, so most of my foundations that I typically use don't um, fit my skin tone right now, so let's give this one a go. Ooh. And let's cover up some of those discolorations. This is definitely high coverage. I'm using a really light layer and I can already see how much coverage it gives. Using a TikTok favorite, this is the Kosas Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I'm using the shade 01N underneath the eyes and on a couple blemishes. You're not really supposed to use the applicator on like active blemishes, so these are just kind of discolorations. Otherwise, you can kind of spread the bacteria around. So to avoid that, you can apply some to the back of your hand and use a concealer brush. This is my go-to when I don't have a tan. This is a cream bronzer by Rose Ink. Sculpting in that bold cheekbone and then blending into the hairline. This look had some very bold cheekbones. These look a little crazy right now, but I think with the rest of the makeup, it should look good. Have a cute NARS powder here, which is just translucent, but I'm gonna use the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray for longevity. The mist on this, so nice. Loki wish this one came unscented because it is pretty strong, but it works. I'm obsessed with pressed powders, especially when they look white and they're completely translucent and I like to press on. Usually I recommend Fluorosis, but I went on a trip and I can't find my favorite powder. So I'm trying out this NARS one, but I've used it for a couple days and it works really great as well. Setting with a pressed powder like this really helps diminish any skin texture. Sometimes loose powders can kind of cling to dry patches or skin texture, but this is so minimal, but it really does set and then you can use it throughout the night and it doesn't cake up. My favorite, nose contouring. I always use this tiny little Besame brush that came with a lip kit, but it's like the perfect size. And then look at how damaged this palette is. It has like a cracked mirror and it's just disgusting. But I use Nudie all the time for my nose contour. I just prefer using powder for small details. Favorite contour hacks are to connect the brows to the nose bridge. If you do contour through this section, make sure you blend it into the eye socket. 
I'm very pale right now and if I took a flash photo it would just get lost like all of my features would kind of flatten out so adding in some dimension is really great for a glam look I am totally inspired by Lily Collins with this nose contour. If you find a way to contour your nose and you really like it and like your nose is an insecurity, who cares? <laughs> I try different nose contours all the time. This blush looks so pretty. It's by Makeup Forever Artist Blush in Wherever Rose. Wow, I love this color. Bringing this up from the contour, just a pop of pink. A great drugstore brow product is the Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaving Pencil, and this is in Dark Brunette. I see this more as like a soft black tone, but I'm creating some hair-like strokes closer together. I'm not going to bring it quite as close as Lily because I feel like I can't pull it off quite as well. So once I've brought in a couple hairs here, I'm making sure this portion is defined, and then the tail of her brow is a bit shorter, so I'm just enhancing that and then combing the rest of my brow upward. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and move on to eyes. This pretty palette is by M Cosmetics. Using the lightest taupe shade, I'm applying this all over the lid, as well as up into the crease and in a V. Also defining underneath the bottom lash line, just in the outer corner. Taking the deeper, cooler taupe, applying this to the lid. In a lot of classic looks like Marilyn Monroe, you'd bring a lot of lightness to the lid and exaggerate the lid, but I really like to have a slightly deeper shade just mapped out throughout the whole eye. I think it really structures the face nicely. Deepest shade, I'm creating a half moon shape right under the bottom lash line. Taking this Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in white, dragging this in the inner corner and then under the bottom lash line about halfway. I received this Half Magic in the Priscilla movie little eye kit. It is so pretty. And I've been meaning to try this. So this is a little device that helps with winged liner. And then this is the Half Magic Magic Flick Liquid Liner. I kind of struggle with liner and my favorite is Lily by Red so I might switch to it if I am feeling shaky. But let's see how this works. Okay, I want it tilted upwards. Wait, I actually love that for the initial line, but I'm too shaky. I'm gonna use what I'm used to. Let's connect this wing. Love doing a couple little accent lashes. I love when makeup looks a little bit worn in, so I'm taking a matte black shadow and fading just above where the line is so it's not quite as crisp. Oh no, all my natural light is going away. The sun goes down so fast. I've been using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner. Super easy to smudge into the tight line. Inner corner. Curling the lashes with this Barbie curler. I miss Barbie summer. What a fun time that was. Getting those outer corner lashes. I think I'm gonna have to blend out my nose contour more. A tip for applying bottom mascara, put your mirror up high. If you're looking down into the mirror, you'll transfer it, so that's why I like to do this. I also recently saw a hack with setting powder. So if you put some onto your lash curler, apparently from here you can curl your lashes and it won't get stuck to the mascara. Whoa, that actually did work. Wow, it really didn't stick using my go-to Velour Lash Extensions on the outer corner. But before I do that, I'm gonna prep my lips. This is the Lip Alchemy by Sereni. This is Chloe Morello's brand. I'm gonna let this activate and then massage it into my lips before my bright red lip. And whenever you're doing a red lip, you wanna make sure you've prepped with a lip mask or you've exfoliated your lips and then added a lip balm for as long as possible because it's gonna really help with the application. A Little bit of duo glue. These lashes taper so you can build and create that really pretty fanned out lash effect. I also want to pop of this in the eye. Massaging in that lip plumper really helps it activate even more. I really do love Makeup Forever. This is the Artist Pencil in Versatile Chestnut. Keeping the cupid's bow but I'm rounding it out a little bit and making it slightly wider. 
I know Lily Collins has done so many Audrey inspired looks and I feel like this was one of them. Fill in the entire upper lip. This is really going to help with longevity. Finally for the red, I thought that this Revlon Matte Ultra HD lip color in the shade Hot in Here was perfect for it. It's more of like a fire engine red, a little bit warmer than this one that I just picked up, which I'm obsessed with. This is the color that Taylor Swift wore in the Bejeweled music video, which I did recreate on shorts if you want to check it out. It's still a full tutorial, just a mini version, but this one is like a vivid blue red but I want it to go a bit brighter. These are my favorite lip products from Revlon. They smell so nice. It's like, what is this smell? It's like vanilla and a fruit. Oh, so pretty. Working in really light layers so that it's comfortable to wear. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. As this dries down a bit, let's add a highlighter. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and I wanted this so bad. I remember watching uh, What's in My Bag from Dove Cameron, I think like 2016. It's a, quite an old video. The Bar of Gold highlighting palette. I'm gonna use the lightest one on my nose tip to help with the contour. But she had this and I was like, okay, I need that. You could use any eyeshadow that has like a light shimmery gold. So pretty. For long wear, take a tissue paper, one more light coat, and there is the glam look. I've let the lip mattify, but it does come off. I personally just would rather have a lip that like comes off on my wine glass whenever I'm wearing red lip. I'm not kissing anybody, but if you do really want to keep it matte, you could go with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks. Those like legit stay on and don't transfer, but they are a little bit drying. So that's why I just like to go for something that does come off, but looks great and I feel hydrated. So that's kind of up to personal preference. You can powder more. I just find most products do have a bit of transfer, but you can always do a little more setting spray. Please take a moment to appreciate this glam because we are going to take it off. This is the Hero Hero Wonder Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil. Again, unscented. We're going to wipe all this glamour away. Time to look crazy. This is the Hero Hero Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil. Perfect for double cleansing to remove the sunscreen and the makeup. This doesn't sting your eyes or make your eyes blurry because that does happen sometimes with oils, but luckily this one does not do that. And then I'll repeat using the products that I already showed at the beginning of this routine. Everything is linked below. And even if you're struggling with acne this holiday season or any type of skin flare up, finding a skincare routine that works for you and a makeup look that makes you feel confident is a must. If you want to keep on watching, you might like this sultry espresso makeup look as another option for a holiday party style. Or maybe you're into the no makeup makeup look. And if that's the case, check out this Rory Gilmore inspired look with even more K-beauty. 